Enjoy the program today. To check out the book, go to the Nashville Public Library website. And for more information about the Book Dreamers, visit the Nashville Reads page. Thank you. Hi, this is Nick Tonioni with Studio MPL at the Nashville Public Library. Today, I'm going to be doing a reading of our Nashville Reads selection, Dreamers, by Juji Morales, also available in Spanish as Sonia Dores. I dreamed of you, then you appeared. Together, we became resplendent life, you and I. One day we bundled gifts in our backpack and crossed a bridge outstretched like the universe. And when we made it to the other side, thirsty, in awe, unable to go back, we became immigrants. Migrantes, you and I. The sky and the land welcomed us in words unlike those of our ancestors. There were so many things we didn't know, unable to understand and afraid to speak. We made lots of mistakes. You and I became caminantes. Thousands and thousands of steps we took around this land until the day we found a place we had never been before. Suspicious, improbable. Unbelievable. Surprising. Unimaginable. Where we didn't need to speak, we only needed to trust. And we did. Books became our language. Books became our home. Books became our lives. We learned to read, to speak, to write, and to make our voices heard. Someday we will become something we haven't even yet imagined. But right now, we are stories. We are languages. We are lucha. We are resilience. We are hope. We are dreamers, soñadores of the world. We are. Hey everyone, my name is Anne Marie and I work with Turnip Green Creative Reuse. And today we're going to do a very special sort of sculptural collage art project based on a beautiful picture book called Dreamers by Yui Morales. This book is special to me not only because the art is vivid and colorful and beautiful, but also because I share a last name with the author and half of my family immigrated to New York City from Puerto Rico. The characters in the story immigrated to a new world and they found a friend, they found trust, they found hope in books at the library. 
by going to the library and opening up books, they get to experience different worlds. And it also helped them to learn the new language in their new country. At the start of the book, we learn about how the characters pack a backpack full of trinkets, things from their home, from the land of their ancestors that are attached to special memories to them. And we are gonna be creating an art project today that is a sculpture of this backpack filled with trinkets that are special to us and to memories from our homes. There are four main steps to this project. One, we're gonna create the 3D outline of the backpack or bag. Two, we're going to explore materials around our homes and even outdoors that trigger a memory inside of us from our home or from the land of our ancestors. Three, we are going to choose the items that we want to put into our sculpture or we're going to actually make the items or find an image that represents them. And then four, we're going to assemble all of these items inside of our 3D sculpture of our backpack. For your materials, you're going to want to get some cardboard to make the 3D outline of your backpack. If you see this box, it's actually sort of the size of a backpack already. If you wanna make it a little sturdier and something that you can maybe hang um, on your wall, you might want to get some pieces of scrap wood and then organize it into the shape of a bag or a backpack. You're going to need adhesive, a hot glue gun would be great, otherwise just regular glue, some tape, and some scissors. If you want to color your backpack, you will want to get some markers like Sharpie markers and also some paint. I request, I recommend tempera paint because it's bold and it'll show up on the wood or on the cardboard. So the goal here is to fill up your 3D outline of your backpack with images and materials and trinkets from your home that are made from reusable materials that remind you of important memories of your home or of the land that your ancestors came from. So I walked around my house and I thought about memories from growing up and then I began to retrieve materials from around my house that I wanted to include in this art project, materials that might end up in the garbage. So a big spot that I looked for images and materials was National Geographic magazines. You could look in any magazines to find images. I ended up finding playing cards. We never use the Joker. So I took that, it reminds me of my childhood. Some more images from magazines. Um, these are old ribbons that I have from growing up. If you go to Turnip Green, we have a lot of ribbons and medals and trophies that we sell by donation. I have an old spice container. This is a piece of garlic from something that I have hanging in my kitchen that actually fell off. This, these are fake flowers that I have in my own home. Again, images from a magazine. And then for this part of my, I have shells and rocks from a trip to the beach. I have an old bathing suit strap and then more images from magazines. I've also come out to my backyard. I grew up with a garden, so I might pick something from here <laughs> to go into my art project. I definitely am going to pick some sticks off of this tree from the ground so I don't kill it um, because this reminds me of climbing a tree in my backyard when I was growing up. Let's see if there's any leaves on the ground that I can take. Ooh, there we go. Once you have all your materials assembled in one spot, you can start to build. So I am using the box that looks like this for my backpack. And what I've decided to do is to cut one of the folds to look like the shape of a backpack that's a little bit more rounded. And I may end up cutting off all of the tabs. And so it kind of is a display that shows the inside of the backpack with none of the tabs on. But I'm gonna leave these on right now um, to see, because I think it would be really cool to have this effect of the backpack is overflowing and the trinkets are coming out. But I'm gonna leave these on for now. And I'm going to start, I actually cut some of the tab off though on the sides to um, have an area for a display. But like I said, I might take off the entire tabs so that you can see all the way inside of the backpack. 
I'm gonna get started now though, taking my collage items and gluing them in here and gluing them here. I'm going to start with the flat pieces from the magazine and organize them based on the memory. So for example, I have cut out three different images that remind me of the lake where I grew up and that remind me of vacations to the beach and that remind me of loving to swim around like I'm a mermaid and this is a mermaid tale. So I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna start gluing them in. Uh, you also meet, um, so I cut these out of a magazine, so you may also need to go back and cut these images from your magazine out that reminded you of memories so that they can fit into your collage. If you use a box like this, what's also really great is you could put images on the side here because people will still be able to see it if they look around at different angles. So I'm taking this picture of the beach and I'm putting it on the side here. So I picture this maybe being inside and peeking out to the opening. I'm going to put that to the side for now. So I took this and I cut around the tree because I think it looks really awesome. I'm going to put it at the top here. 
So it's like the tree is coming out of the backpack. And then I'm gonna take my leaves and my mermaid fin. And I think I'm gonna put them right here. So when you collage, your goal is to fill up all the spaces that you can. So I have some spaces here. I've finished gluing all of my flat images down, and now I'm going to go and fill up some of the spaces to collage with the 3D images, with the 3D materials. This you might need your glue stick for because they're heavier and you want to make sure they stay. So on here you can see I have a theme of trees and also a playground um, that reminds me of my home and growing up. I grew up in a place with four seasons and fall was always a really special season for me. As I said earlier, I grew up on the lake and swimming in pools and pretending to be a mermaid. That's the images of the beach and then um, a city skyline like my hometown with a lake in front of it. And then if you look inside, it's a clothing line with some vegetables that reminds me of my grandparents and my mother growing up. And then inside here is an image of a young girl laying alone in her bed. I was pretty shy growing up and so I would sneak away to be alone a lot and write in my diary and that's what that represents. So now like I said, I'm going to take the 3D things and I'm going to glue them with hot glue to complete my collage. I'm actually going to glue it closed right now so I can start seeing if I can make some of the things stick to the back here and um, stick up like they're overflowing out of the backpack. So I have glued on all of my flat pieces and all of my 3D pieces and now I'm going to go back in color. I'm using a Sharpie navy blue. That was the color of my backpack for many years when I was younger. And so I'm just going to color this in all navy blue. Again, using a bold paint um, would work really well on this, like a tempera paint. I'm going to give you a little tour of my backpack. So you can go in deep and see all the things in there. And then here's the outside. And it's ready to hang on a wall.
This project was really so much fun. It's a great gift if you want to give to somebody. Maybe they're celebrating a wedding or a birthday and you can think about putting the older memories together in the back here and then creating different levels to show the current memories. You can use things from your house, you can use things from outside, and then you can color the outside. Like I said, I used a blue marker, but you could also use paint. You could also cover it with construction paper. I hope you have a lot of fun and please share your projects with us online. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy this Nashville Reads program. Now we would like to hear from you so that we can provide you with the most relevant high quality programming. Please take a minute to fill out the survey online or click on the survey available in the description box below. Thank you.